I think if you ask anybody who's seen me over the years, uh, it wasn't easy. I definitely wasn't a natural in it, and it took a lot of time and effort, but it was super rewarding, the whole process and experience of picking up the game and learning it, because there's not a ton of uh, comparable sports uh, as an able-bodied athlete, so to jump into a new sport and learn a completely new game was really fun. I think uh, the biggest skill is just resiliency, where uh, you've got to be able to take the good days and the tough days, the bad losses, and still be willing to show up the next day. So any young athlete, that's something I would try and instill in them. I think we have to remember, like, at the end of the day, we're really lucky to be doing what we're doing. And, you know, it's an amazing opportunity for us to travel around the world and represent our country and compete at the highest level. So sometimes with the pressure and the stress of the situation, the fun gets lost in it. So it's a good reminder that we're playing a game, we're having a good time, and it's kind of a brief period of our lives that we got to take advantage of. <laughs> I think the biggest change is now every interview I do, they always ask when I'm gonna retire. But no, not much has changed. I mean, recovery has taken on a whole new, different meaning and importance. I think when I started the sport, I used to look at some of the older guys on the team. Man, you guys are soft. Like, guys are always getting treatment. You always need to take a nap. Like, you're never coming out at night. Now, I, uh, I understand where they were coming from. I think uh, over time, especially with age, I've just become more efficient with it, where I recognize my time in the gym is focused and important, but the time outside, the recovery time is just as important. So I spend a lot of time stretching, spend a lot of times, you know, getting treatment, covering. It's, uh, it's a full-time job. I think I like to keep things really consistent. So it's not so much the big games, but it's the lead up where I try and keep my preparation the exact same no matter what uh, what competition or what game I'm heading into. And in that way, in the big moments, it feels like any other game. So oh, bad. I mean, obviously there's been a lot. Um, injuries and a lot of uh, setbacks during, during the years. But yeah, I think the biggest challenge has just been the duration of, of my career where year after year, you know, it's a lot to put your body through. It's crazy the growth we've seen in the sport where when I started, it was predominantly acquired spinal cord injuries, quadriplegics, and now we've opened the doors to a wide range of disabilities. So every year we're seeing new athletes with different disabilities, with different sets of function coming in. And it's really changed uh, the way we play the game, the different tactics and strategies we use. It's, uh, it's definitely a different game than when, uh, when I started. I mean, the players every year get younger, bigger, and stronger, and faster. The chairs, the technology has changed quite a bit, where when we started, we were in big, heavy frames made of chromoly, and now we're using heat-treated aircraft aluminum. Each chair is uh, designed individually for each individual athlete, measured specifically to our body frames. There's bracing and strapping systems to keep us tight and kind of one with our chair, so the whole landscape is definitely undergone a huge shift over the last 10, 15 years.